Welcome back to episode 5 of my Imperial Ambitions campaign for Shogun 2 Total War Fall of the Samurai. Last episode, we had to deal with a rebellion on Tsushima Island, and we also got our asses handed to us by the residents of Gotu Island when I made the mistake of not burning enough troops to deal with them. This episode, we're going to be waiting for our artillery barrack, or artillery school to be finished construction, and then we shall build some replacement parrot guns for the ones that we lost, trying to take Gotu and... We're also going to have to deal with the rebellion that has popped up on this island again. So, pretty much, yeah, let's get to it. So, okay, got two turns for consular court. And we've already traded with everyone we can. Nothing to see in the family tree. I just hope we do not take, uh, those rebels don't try and take out the gold mine, because that's like half my income right there coming out of that one location. So it kind of suck. And of course, trade disrupted also. Chosu. Yep, the enemy raid. So I'm pretty sure next turn they're going to assault. And I'm going to have to repair the gold mine, which is kind of unfortunate because that's spending a bit of money I would have used somewhere else. How much longer, or how much? So it's about 40 to 60 for in favor of the Emperor. I'm going to exempt them from tax for now, so that way they'll probably delay an Emperor Rebellion once we defeat that one. Um, can we build a boat here? Yes, we can. And I'm going to probably scrap this gunboat. Oop. This gunboat. And then repair the other ones. Um, can't recruit any troops. Don't have enough money left. Probably just going to get... The line infantry out of the city, and the foreign veteran is going to go and train those guys. You samurai. So that's going to be good in the long run because we can get more experience, become better troops, already replacing the place of deposits, and yeah. <clears throat> oh, speaking of Chosu, I probably need to find another trade partner since I lost them as one of my sources of income. It should be relatively easy. But I line infantry are significantly better than levy infantry, and we also have the high ground inside the fortress. So I have I expect no difficulties for this battle right now. All we have to do is pretty much just wait for him to walk in within range of our guns, and we're going to blast them away. And even if this army doesn't get destroyed in the battle, we'll be able to run them down afterwards with the garrison troops. And by that I mean like the line infantry and the general. And by next turn we'll have our gold mines back and we'll be making tons of money. Whoops. Okay. The spears are going to hold back for whenever they they manage to get into the walls, and they're going to help out defending at certain locations rather than being actually on the walls. You go there. You go here, and you guys go well here, I guess. Prepared to defend, sir. And now all you have to do is just wait. I can even just speed this up until they get within range. Okay. <clears throat> Such a good thing to have this line infantry, as opposed to the more traditional units or even the levy infantry, just because they get the range and they also have the discipline that allows them to, well, have a, maintain a good rate of fire and they're also pretty accurate with their guns. Which is never a big plus. So we got free levy infantry on this side, and they got the saber cavalry and a never levy infantry on this side. I expect no problems on this side. I know they're gonna probably dismount their cavalry and try and climb up the walls, but that's not really that big of a problem considering our spearmen are probably gonna be better in melee than their cavalry, at least on foot sort of thing. So no worries. Over here is a bit 
more of an issue simply because there's free units of infantry that can take or inflict casualties on my line infantry even if they're not going to be effective at doing so okay I started up the gunfire and this level infantry I don't even know if they're going to be able to do anything oh that's a lot of gunfire I would not want to be on either side of this engagement right now that looks kind of frightening. I mean, like, one of their units is already routed, so it's not so bad. But still, kind of scary, the amount of fire going back and forth. And one of the regiments is just walking towards my belt line, not even a single care in the world. I'm probably going to have to get my spearman over here. <clears throat> Put him on guard mode just in case. So yeah, that regiment in the distant, like the far regiment over here, is pretty much well, it's gone now. This regiment, apparently, it looks like it's gonna break. Hmm. And then this regiment's gonna break soon. Over on this side, mm, because of the way the incline of the hill, it's taken much longer for casualties to be inflicted, but it's only a matter of time. Spearmen never even got here in time to make a difference, or they didn't need to be made making a difference. Once this regiment of levy break, I'm going to send my line infantry back to the other side. While the blood might not be realistic, like it is in Rome and Attila, it's still quite a nice effect to have in the game. I need you guys to quickly get over there. Actually, you could just probably hold here. Just blast them as they walk up the wall. Oh. This dismounted, it looks like. Line infantry should be in place by the time these guys get up the wall. If these guys get up the wall. Ooh. Yeah, that's not good for that regiment of Sabre Calvary. And if these guys don't break before we get to the top, it's going to be quite interesting to see what happens to them. With my line infantry being right here. Victory is assured, sir. Okay, they're all broken. So now I can just fast forward, let them all get hit with a couple more volleys. It's gonna be interesting. <clears throat> and it looks like they slide out still for some reason when they get up here. And yeah, the battle's over. We won. Um, didn't want to hit that. Without the tax, I, because we were um, not levying taxes on the province, a never rebellion should still be some distance away simply because they're not going to have as much reason to revolt. And we get a bonus to repression, I think, once we, um, for a couple turns after we defeat a rebellion. And like during my turn, I am going to take the general and two line infantry to go deal with the rest of this army. Because there can't be that much left. I think there's, yeah, it's like. They lost, okay, they lost less than half, but they're still kind of crippled. Uh-oh. Nagasaki Revolt, it would be kind of bad. Clan destroyed, not so bad. Um, Clan encountered. As long as they're Imperial, I have no issue with them. Looks like most of the clans I know happen to be Imperial clans. Which is good, because I it's the side I'm on. Um, one Shogunate, two Shogunate. Free sugar at four. That's it. Wait a second. What was that? Oh. Okay, I thought something weird was going on for a second. Okay, it's, never mind. Okay, so we've got a, a new ship being constructed here in two turns. We got. Oh, how long until. 
two more turns for the artillery school, and then we'll be able to uh, build some parrot guns to replace the other ones we lost. And probably. Ooh, it's nice. Should probably build the police station here. So the next turn I'll be able to police station. Is the gold back up? Right? Yes, it is. I actually. Uh, it's still pretty bad. With the police station, though, it would help out. So I'm gonna just tax the province, I think. Oh, that's not who. I, oh yeah, that's not who I want to take a look at. I want to take a look at the city. So we're gonna. We are gonna tax that province. And probably just gonna auto resolve this battle. That didn't end up being too bad for us. <clears throat> and you guys just gonna have to get back to the city eventually. Uh, we need that repaired, we need that repaired. But the unfortunate is, when, next time a rebe rebellion co pops up in that territory, they're probably just gonna do the same thing and destroy it again. I'm actually thinking of it, I should have probably recruited some Saber Cavalry to go on with my line infantry. I'll recruit it next turn. Mission failed. Ooh, Samurai Revolt. Well, that's gonna be relatively easy to, to defeat. Yeah, it looks like they're mostly just Yuri Samurai. Um, hmm. So, yeah, I'll be getting recruitment on, a recruitment on two Saber Cavalry. Got one more turn for the artillery. Actually, I can't get the Saber Cavalry. I need to get the police station up here. Because that's gonna help out quite a bit. Yeah. Um. Actually, how long am I going to take to build? Three turns, okay. And now I'm going to take my daimyo. We're going to go and destroy this army. Ooh. Can't reach it in one turn. Maybe if we can lure it to attack us, that would be good. Uh, they're not doing anything, so I'm not going to worry about them right now. One more turn for the ship. Hopefully, these guys don't cancel the construction. One more turn for artillery, and... Oh, don't want to research that. Should have paid more attention to that. Um, probably going to get the imported guns. Just it's going to increase my accuracy even more because I believe my current abilities. Yeah, plus five to accuracy of all artillery, and then a further three would be significant. So hopefully that samurai army attacks my troops. If not, I'm gonna have to hope they just don't take the shipyards and make. Oh, they didn't. Okay. So we got the ship built. That's good. So I got two good-sized ships in my fleet now instead of. Oh, oh it's Obama. Instead of one good-sized ship. <clears throat> and we can also recruit. Can we get behind my guys? That's interesting. Yeah, I'm also going to recruit the parrot guns now. And up here, police station will be done in two turns. Kind of considering it to so get uh, to buff up the troops, but no, I don't think so. And you can just go and take out these guys. Um, wow. This is going to be fun. This is just going to be a fun battle. There's no doubt I'm going to win. I mean, if I lose, then I should probably just end the campaign. If I win, well then, it's no surprise. <clears throat> I think the most curious thing about um, Fall of the Samurai, to be honest, is the fact that none of your um, infantry get bayonets. Or, as far as I know, they don't get bayonets. And that was a really useful technology in the ever sort of 1700s to 1800s sort of games because it gave you the opportunity to just ignore experience entirely just have basically all infantry with a little bit of artillery and horsemen but in this you're gonna want to make sure that if you get charged by cavalry you'd best have some experience just in case like for me personally I'm too confident in my line infantry to um, bother with spears but 
normally, if you face a cavalry heavy army, you're going to want to have spears to, to defend your line infantry, or else they're going to get taken out rather quickly. Ugh. Or it could just be, you know, could be not true. Here, we go in group formation. Just walk. Moving out! Wow, it's really slow. I mean, I say walk, but you don't have to the walk. The men that are ready fully. to attack, sir. So the only thing we have to worry about in enemy army is going to be the Yari cavalry or the Yari key, I think they're called, and that's because they can get a good charge in on my men, and they'll do a lot of damage. The spear levy and Yari. Catchy don't, aren't really that big of a threat like, at all. Because my guns will go for their armor, like knife through butter sort of thing. It's so interesting, like their little flat top soft caps. I don't know very many of her nations that used this that they could have been influenced by, so it might be like an all Japanese sort of thing. But that's just a guess. That's a very educated guess, but guess still the same. <clears throat> so now pretty much we're just getting in the line, wait for the enemy to get within range, and then blast them. Kingdom Come, I think is the proper explain or the proper name for it. Well, you guys know what to do. Ooh, I would not want to be in that horseman regiment. I mean, like, I'm probably gonna like these guys are gonna freak out, so I should probably send the general to help. Um, and rally, and then nope, did not mean to use that battle or button. Oh, okay, okay, they're winning anyway. So you. And not back up, please. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get my general to charge behind them, pretty sure. And whatever regiments aren't engaged by the enemy can just go behind them. Cause I mean my line infantry are not that good in melee. They have a katana and they they know how to use it, but they're just not very good with it. They're much better at range, but that doesn't seem to matter too much because it looks like the entire army's ramp uh, wavering anyway. So just just do charge, I guess. You guys, okay. Um, you guys get back and just let the infantry blast them. I'll uh, just shoot them a couple more times. So yeah, that was pretty effective, I'd say. We dealt. Well, I wouldn't call that a close victory. I mean, like, it's not like we were gonna lose at all. <clears throat> it's gonna be so much better when we get the parrot guns back, and then we can just sit at our current position and just bombard them, do massive casualties, and then just have their weakened regiments try to charge my line infantry. It'd be on spiral to see. And they lost about a quarter. Oh, sorry, about a third of their men. Now I can just auto resolve it. Because we've seen what these guys are capable of compared to mine. <laughs> lost zero men in that. Oh, my daimyo leveled up. That's pretty good. Let's see what he can get. Okay, and legendary banner. Probably gonna get that actually. That seems like a pretty good idea. And then defender, of course. Defender's like this, the way I am. I defend. Free turns for the parrot gun. Should we? Do we need another line infantry retro? Yeah, yeah. I'll get one more. Go to is still there. Not doing anything important. Anytime soon. It's now most of the settlement is pro emperor and they are happy again. So that's good. I'm going to build the police house, or 
police station anyway, just because it gives a good benefit. Well, that sounds like the timer. So, I'm going to leave this episode here. Next episode, we're going to finish construction of the parrot guns. And I was thinking about waiting for not uh, waiting for the daimyo's brother to become of age before I send out the force to go to Island. But I'm probably just going to send the daimyo himself on the ships that we just built once um, winter's over. And we're going to take that island for sure. And after that, who knows what's going to happen. It's going to be exciting regardless. So leave a like, a comment, or a subscription if you're feeling generous. And I shall see all of you in the next episode.